Hello there escapers, my name is Xenovilius and today I lost Trim again. But why did I lose Trim? It was because of a new set of Slayer mobs that have been released into the game. These are called the Stalker Creatures, which are Slayer Creatures assignable by Moran or Koredal. And in order to get to these, you need to have completed the Dishonor Among Thieves quest, which will reward you with the communication device, teleporting you to Zamorak's hideout under Demonheim. And if you go west, you'll be able to find these creatures. Now, these are Slayer Creatures, requiring level 71 and a level 99 slayer to kill but they can be killed off task as well they have similar properties to their dungeoneering counterparts the seekers are more populous than their soul gazer counterparts and they reside in the southern side of the dungeon whereas the soul gazers reside in the northern side and there are actually three varieties of the level 99 soul gazers the normal level 99s the elites and the uh, very rare veal ripper ozaraka i think that's how you pronounce it all three require 99 slayer to kill but they have different hps and this picture of the veal ripper is thanks to aaron who i believe was one of the first people to kill one of these and also to find out that these have a 100% drop rate of the real life version if you like or the non-Demonheim version of the Hex Hunter Bow, the fabled Hex Hunter Bow back in the day. What are the other drops of these monsters? Well the Seekers drop something called a Seekers Charm and an Essence and the other three also drop the Essence but also something called a Soul Gazer's Charm which is a pet, a Slayer pet as well as the Hex Hunter Bow which is unique to the Soul Gazers and the equivalents however the only unique item to the Seekers is the Seeker Charm. What does the Seeker Charm do? Well, it's got a very interesting mechanic. It's tradable and uh, you can only get it from Seekers, but if you throw it into the portal in the north, you can increase your chance of an elite Soul Gazer spawning and also the chance of a Veil Ripper spawning at the rate of this chance occurring for 10 kills per Seeker Charm thrown in there, which is an interesting mechanic, I suppose. But the more interesting mechanic is that the Veil Ripper, because it's super rare is guaranteed to drop the hex hunter bow when it does drop it and if you are lucky enough to do it make sure you don't die or tell you away it's got 150k hp but the chances are you'll probably be fighting the elite soul gazers more often and in fact they've purposefully made these elite soul gazers more common to kill talking of killing the best method is to use ranged since their weakness is arrows so they have an affinity of 90 against arrows whereas the next best is some other type of ranged for example bolt or thrown weapons for which the affinity is 65. Magic has got almost half the hit chance of arrows at 50 and the worst to use is melee so I wouldn't recommend that but yes ranged is the best method against these guys. A dwarven multi cannon is very useful but it is actually quite annoying for everyone because if you tag a monster using that or you tag a monster and you don't kill it you get the drop. I'm pretty sure you get the drop anyway from my experience. They are poisonable so I would recommend bringing cinnabin gloves and weapon poison plus plus also a steel titan is very useful here because of course they're weak to arranged and i would recommend bringing the amulet of souls here because you will need to heal up quite a bit especially when attacking the elite soul gazer and potentially the next level up and if you get that i will personally tip my hat to you my good sir and madam because i believe that is ridiculously rare to get a spawn of but then what do you expect it's guaranteed to drop the hex hunter bow so yeah of course it's going to be that rare i would also recommend the book of death my personal favorite because it has a chance of one hitting any of the monsters especially the elites on their release it has been absolutely rammed in there so it's been very difficult to get kills but at the same time it's been pretty fun these are two new slayer monsters for the slayer codex nothing too difficult but at the same time not easy either at level 99 slayer and probably the best part is that you do not need to be on task to be able to obtain these unique drops and you have no increased chance of these unique drops if you're on task either the only thing that that is affected by your slayer level or you having these as a slayer creature is one your slayer xp of course but also your chance of getting the shabti filled that's not to do with soul gazers or seekers that's a separate mechanic so if you're 120 slayer or if you're on task you have a double chance of getting the soul and they don't stack but generally speaking over the course of my testing i found out the following statistics
6. So with the Seekers, it turns out you can get around 150k range XP an hour. I wasn't particularly efficient here, so you can push it up to 200k if you want. And that translates to about 95 to 125k Slayer XP an hour, if you're on a Slayer task. Which translates to about 220 to 290 kills an hour of the Seekers with the Dwarven Multi Cannon. For the Soul Gazers, well, it's a lot higher, shall we just say. 250 to 350k range XP an hour, and that translates to about 130 to 180 kills an hour. However, this varied enormously based on how many people there were and whether people were using a Dwarven Multi Cannon. I suppose if you do use a Dwarven Multi Cannon, which I didn't at Soul Gazers, you will probably increase this number a lot more, as well as the Slayer XP rate to well over 400k, pushing 500k even if you are the only person there and you aren't being crashed and so on. I also managed to get the Seeker Soul, which was nice, but I did not manage to get the Soul Gazer Soul, not yet anyway. Hopefully I'll get it fairly soon. I didn't manage to get a Veil Ripper spawn and neither did I get a Hex Hunter bow as a result. However, I believe one of the first people to sell it sold it for a whopping 337 mil, which is pretty crazy. Just one bill away from that magical 1337 mark. But back onto the harsh realities of the unlucky many, not the lucky few. Although the price checker says I got only about 470k in drops from 100 seeker kills, the fact of the matter is that the seeker charms, which incidentally I had to buy 8 of, even though I got 11, I only picked up 3. Why? I don't know why. It's so hard to spot them, that's why. It's so hard to spot them on the ground. But anyway, 11 of them. So... They cost 250k each when I bought them, which by the way may not necessarily be the case now because they would have dropped a lot in value. But if you put that together, I made 3 mil. 3 mil in 100 seeker kills, which is pretty impressive seeing as you can kill almost 300 an hour. And so the GP per hour right now, which is probably dropping fast, is almost at 9 mil an hour at its peak. So yeah, this is a great money maker for now if you want consistent money at Seekers. If we look at the Soul Gazers, well, I only made 1 mil in 1 hour. They don't drop Seeker Charms, of course. Their unique drop is the Hex Hunter bow. Very rare chance of it, but a chance nevertheless. The chance of a Hex Hunter from an elite Soul Gazer is much higher than the chance with a normal Soul Gazer. And of course, it's guaranteed with the next level up. I forgot the name. What's it called? Veil Ripper. So without considering the those you can get between 1.3 to 1.8 mil an hour which I guess isn't too bad you can push that up as you get more kills per hour by using a cannon and whatnot but if you add the hex hunter bow well you can obviously increase those numbers to ridiculous amounts so if you're going to camp these for a long time you might want to factor the hex hunter bow in and of course again that will be dropping in price as we speak so none of these numbers are concrete but all in all what do I think of the update if you have a look at the numbers as a whole put together you can see they're fairly decent without being exceptional that's what you get I suppose for the level of Slayer mob they are I think the unique looting mechanic is pretty cool the fact that you're guaranteed a hex hunter bow if you see a veil hunter spawning and the fact that they've increased the chance of elites spawning compared to other Slayer mob elites but on the other hand I think um, it's very hard to get a kill right now so they could have made more of the soul gazers and fewer of the seekers. The slayer XP rates aren't exceptional but the GP can be right now. So I guess it's a different type of slayer mob similar to the ones that released in November 2015 if you remember. It's a decent start to 2018 on the slayer front. I hope they release more and better monsters of this kind. However the update of the day was the fact that you can now use a streamlined interface to use magic carpets and also they cut out the animation I believe or made it shorter anyway. So travel is much simpler. That's probably my update of the day. Forget these guys. And uh, I will be hoping to get the Soul Gazer Soul tomorrow as well as hopefully sniping a Hex Hunter bow and selling it off for something ridiculous. Unless of course you guys want me to make a video analyzing the Hex Hunter bow, the new Hex Hunter bow. So let me know if you want me to do that. I would be actually be quite interested to see how good the Hex Hunter bow is outside of Demonheim. And let me know if you got lucky with the drops today. No YouTubers luck for me. Hopefully uh, you guys were luckier than I was. So thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Lol. 
I just insta killed a massive, massive soul gazer. And I think with that, we must end the video. I still haven't got the soul. God damn it, I still haven't got the soul. I can't believe it. Let's see how many I've killed. 689. What the hell's going on? I don't know what this luck is. Probably my luck debt for being extremely lucky at lost grow creatures for my last three souls when I was re-trimming. But that is it for this video. I'm really disappointed with this, but whatever. What can you do? Just keep grinding. That's the way trim is. And I've also been an idiot in another respect. I forgot that you can actually wear your comp cape instead of your max cape. Because a Slayer Codex is a trim requirement, not a comp requirement. Nice.